This is really divine. Welcome to the You Wanna Bite Kitchen, or if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I'm going to be trying one of Twitter's most famous recipes, Chrissy Teigen's banana bread. Chrissy Teigen really let the whole world know that this banana bread was worth asking a stranger for bananas for. Well, luckily, I didn't have to ask a stranger for bananas. I had my own rotting bananas, so let's not waste any time and get eating banana bread. What you need today is mashed very ripe bananas, two large eggs, canola oil, all-purpose flour, a cup of sugar, instant vanilla pudding mix, baking soda, salt, some chocolate chips, and sweetened coconut. Or wait, she has unsweetened coconut. I think this will be okay. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with mixing my wet ingredients together in one bowl. So I've got a cup of mashed ripe bananas going in and two eggs that I'm gonna crack in here. And lastly, I'm going to pour in one third cup of canola oil and mix that all up. I do wanna leave some chunky bits then you get little pockets of nice gooey banana in your bread. I'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side and mix together my dry ingredients in a separate bowl. I'm gonna mix together a cup of flour. I've also got a cup of sugar. I do have a food scale I could use, but I'm just gonna eyeball half the package of pudding mix, half teaspoon of baking soda, and three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Now it doesn't say in the ingredients to whisk together the dry ingredients, but I feel like it's pretty normal to kind of combine your dry ingredients before. Now it is time to combine our wet and our dry ingredients. I'm gonna try and be as gentle as possible here when folding in the dry ingredients to not over mix here. I'm not sure I even really know what folding is, but I'm trying to like fold it over. You know what I mean? But now that all of my dry ingredients are in here, it's time to add in our mix-ins. Chrissy says to use unsweetened coconut. I only have sweetened, but I don't mind sweet. And I've, of course, also got chocolate. I don't mind at all if there's a lot in here. The more chocolate, the better. So I'm not even gonna measure this. Okay. That was actually, that was actually a lot. This is looking really good. I only made half the recipe, so I'm not going to be putting it in a bundt pan like Chrissy does. So I've either got a loaf pan or I've got some muffin tins up there. Muffins are just so cute. So I'm going to prep my pans by spraying them with some oil and pour some batter into these muffin tins. I've got 14 muffins made out of half the recipe. I'm hoping I filled these up to a you know, height that makes sense. They're going to go in the oven at 325 for, I'm not sure how long, honestly. So the recipe says the bread could take 60 minutes, but since these are muffins, I think they might cook a little bit quicker. I'm gonna pop them in the oven and I'll be checking on them periodically been 28 minutes. The muffins are looking done. I wish you could smell them. I wish. I wish I could just like... <sighs> now that the muffins have been cooling for a couple of minutes in the tin here, I'm going to just take a butter knife and run that around the edges and try and pop the muffin out of here. And it's looking like they don't need much help. Now that they're out, I'm going to leave them to cool on the wire rack for a little bit. I cannot wait to bite one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finally, mm. It is like the perfect amount of sweetness for me at least. Do I have chocolate? I do. And the texture of it is just amazing. And I think that's from the pudding mix. I thought I was just gonna take a bite, but here goes my last bite. <laughs> That's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video and subscribe down below so that you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And let me know if you wanna bite these banana muffins.